Yeah. Hello everybody. Today we have the uh, review on the JCP7 that works with the JC Pro 1000S. Now these programmers are the best programmers out there for the iPhone 6S and up. Um, personally, I'm going to show you today why we use it and how fast and easy the Pro 1000S touchscreen module is with the P7 together. These two together will make your life very simple, making storage upgrades and everything else possible without a waste of time or using your brain too much. Now, there's a few things with the JCP7 uh, compared to the older JCPCIE programmer. The older ones didn't have the option to format the actual NAND. So whenever we got iPhone 6S or up with error 9, we would have to replace the NAND to fix it. But with the P7, it has the option now to format the layers, which means that it could be fixing the actual NAND chips at the time instead of replacing them like we did every single time. So let's see if that will work today. Okay guys, so today we have a NAND that I had lying around. This one was from an Era 9 success. Did not work. Uh, so we replaced it and it fixed the success. And here we have a 7 that I have put a 512 gigabyte chip on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this 512 gig chip. We're going to downgrade it to a 32 gigabyte. And we're going to see how it works with the whole process with the JC. So let's just get started. Let me just get ready here. Turn on my equipment. Zoom extractor as well. Right. Here we go. We need to make sure this is completely dry and spotless. Perfect, so here we have the 512 gig chip here, and here we have a 32 gig NAND. So in this, we are going to downgrade from the 512 to the 32. First, we need the information from the 512, and then we need to transfer it to the 32, and we'll be good to go. Okay, so here we have the JC Programmer P7, and this is the JC Pro 1000S, the main module, the touchscreen that can attach all the modules to it. So this is the old programmer I had. This is the JC PCIe for the 7 models and the 6S. And then we have, this is the new PC. JC P7. JC P7, it looks similar to the old one, but as you can see it is thinner and they claim it to be faster and it can fix the NANDs with the Era 9 on it. It comes with a USB cable if you want to use it directly with a computer. So let's just put this to the side here and then we have, let's get this open here, probably a thank you in Chinese, I'm not too sure, there we go, here is the P7. I mean the Pro 1000S comes with a USB-C cable and a little memory card. Let's put that in here. All right. Let's put this in here. We're gonna plug this in directly into a USB. You can see the cable lights up nicely. So now, all these devices, these can be used without this main hub, but. We want to use this main hub because it just makes our life easier. You can buy many modules. You can buy modules to test original cables, batteries, earphones, anything. And you can plug it in here and this little machine does it all. So let's just boot it up. Let's see. Right. So we have an interface here you can see here we can test batteries we can test earphone cables lightning charges to tell if they're original there's a lot of stuff on here so this is the p7 this is the latest one and i believe it's actually cheaper than the older one so we connect it like that 
it automatically picks up that this device is in here. So what we're going to do is, I've never tried the 512 NAND in this. There's a dot here. That dot indicates where the dot goes. So this is the 512 gig NAND. Ooh. Let's see if it reads it. So let's see, ooh, this is the 512 gig chip. Let's see. I'm going to manually push it down because this chip is very thick. So let's see, it's loading it in. Hmm. It doesn't read the iPhone 7 512. So it doesn't read the 512. Right. This is the 32 gig. <whistles> Reads it perfectly fine. There's all the information. So what we're going to do is um let's just hmm. Let's format this formatted it already. So we need the information from here. The dot is on the bottom right here. No, it's still not reading the 512. Hey. That's different. Okay. Let's actually try the older version and see if the older version reads the 512. Okay. So this is the PCIe. And let's see if we can grab the old information. This is pretty cool. Let's see. Okay, so the older version has recognized the 512 gigabyte, but the newer version did not recognize the 512. So let's go ahead and just transfer the data to the 32 gig. But look how long it takes to load. It takes that time to load us an extra few minutes. No, extra few seconds. Okay, and let's write it. So we formatted it with this one, but obviously everybody doesn't have the 512 gigabyte chip. So <laughs> the 512 gigabyte chip is not recognized on the P7, but it's recognized on the old one. How crazy. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do this. So what I want you to see is we can put the P7 in directly like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab... another NAND for you here just to show you how easy it is so here we go we've got the 32 gig here now this is all the information from the 512 on it but that's crazy the old one works with the 512 and the new one doesn't okay so here we go let's detect everything Perfect, it's very fast. The P7 is extremely fast. So there's the data on that. Right, okay, cool. Let's put in another NAND. So this is the one with the good info. This is another one we have here. I'm not too sure on the size. Let's just check. It's very fast. Compared to this, it's very fast. So this is loading, detecting the HDD. 
So now technically this is a 64 gig, we can format it. Format it already. That's good. And if we wanted to upgrade this 32 to a 64, we put in the original NAND. Extract the data. There's the data. And then we're going to just transfer it to the actual 64 gig. Because right now I'm going to keep this 512 for later on. I'm going to put on another phone. And then we're going to write it directly to the 64 gig. Perfect. Okay. So now we have two. I'm just going to format this quick. So we put in the... This is just an extra one I have here. I love the option that you have to format on this. It could be fixing them all. So let's see here. So here's the format option. Let's just format it here. So this is going to go back into my pile. Perfect. Now also if you're going to be upgrading, um, up, fixing Wi-Fi issues on the 7 and 6S, all you have to do with the P7 is go in here, put in the NAND without doing anything, and all you have to do is unbind the Wi-Fi. That's it. And it says here, Wi-Fi has delete and then you are done here, you can put this directly on. This is very fast compared to the older version. Now the older version is slower, but the only difference between this and this is that it doesn't read the 512. <laughs> so the 512 is read with the older programmer, while with the newer one, the 512 cannot be read. But that's about it. This one is faster, it can format, and it is cheaper now than the older one, so this is why I say you need to get the, the newer one and this whole setup here because it just makes your life easier. You know, you just read, write, that's it. If you want to edit information, you can select it. Let's go ahead and put it back. So, here we have the 32 gig chip. We're going to put it back on quickly and then we're going to see if it works. Oh! <laughs> put the fume extractor on. Oh, hello. People that have been in this house, in this lab, will know. Right. So. So now what we're going to do is, we're going to plug this into our computer and we're going to see if this restores. Okay, so we put a screen on here, we put the everything connected, the battery is plugged in and we're going to plug it into the display. After programming it, you will see it up as DFE mode and we just have to restore the device. Like so. comments going on here okay so there we go so as you can see now what's going to happen is when we see the Apple logo it's going to complete the restore and we'll be good to go so there we go the Apple logo is on as you can see you can focus it on there and yeah so we have the Apple logo we should see the bar to appear soon there we go the bar the bar is appearing so obviously once the restore process is done now, we have successfully downgraded this from 512 gigabytes to 32. But yeah, this goes for any process. You put the 32 in, you read it, you take it out, you put a new one, you write it, done. Then you've got your new upgrade. There we go. The bar has started, as you can see. We can focus it on there. I think if you click on it on there, yeah. You can focus it on there perfectly like that. And it is starting the restore. I can show you the bar will be moving now. Let's see. Yep, the bar is moving nicely. Perfect. So, 
what we'll do is now we'll put this down, we'll complete the restore, and we'll have a 32 gigabyte iPhone again. Anyways, thank you for watching. And yeah, so the JC Pro 1000S and the P7 itself is the way to go. Obviously, you won't be needing a 512 gigabyte chip, that is very rare. But this is the fastest and most efficient, won't be breaking on you like the other ones. And getting this touchscreen module, you won't need to plug into the computer, you won't need to use the internet, boom, straight up, dun 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 dun, you know. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.